Well, good morning, Veterinary Christian Fellowship. My name is Phelan Doherty, and I'm speaking to you from my garden here in Derry in Northern Ireland. I think some of you I may have met before. I have served as a local church minister here for 20 years, and before that, uh, I was a busy vet in practice for 12 years. Uh, most of that time, I think, on a one and two rota. So I do know a little bit about stress and uh, about the pressures that life brings. And I wanted just to take a few moments this morning just to encourage you um, with a word concerning that. I'm just delighted this morning that it's not raining here. I think in Ireland it's been raining, <clears throat> perhaps with yourself as well, non-stop for months. I had to laugh this morning. I thought, I wonder if when Noah was looking at the rain falling during the flood, it was simply that the ark was floating over Ireland <laughs> and then eventually floated somewhere else. But it has finally stopped raining here in May. And if there's one month that's beautiful in Ireland, it certainly is May. So looking forward to this month. <clears throat> you know, I was thinking during the week about how this world puts pressure on us to attempt to meet goals. We're very goal oriented And uh, a lot of the stress of work uh, comes actually from trying to meet targets and having not enough time or resources to do that. And I think with age, um, very often there does come a realization that many of the targets you're trying to hit perhaps weren't as important as you thought they were. And also the realization that there's a great danger that uh, in all of our attempts to sort of get to a certain point, uh, we miss the flowers at our feet. We miss the most important things under our nose all the time. And I think that's one of the the graces that come with age is the ability to look back and say, yeah, okay, I think I need to pay attention <clears throat> to different areas in my life. So I was reading um, very much over the years about the ancient way of the church and what part of that lifestyle was the habit of going on pilgrimages. And um, maybe a thousand years ago, there was a, a very famous uh, pilgrimage which was running from London to Rome. And I think you can still do that pilgrimage. It's really started up again now. Uh, I had some members of my family, some brothers and sisters, actually went on what was called the Franciscan Way, which is a bit like the Camino in Spain, only you walk uh, through Italy to Rome. And they, and they took the passage through Tuscany last year and had a beautiful time. But I thought very much about how those ancient pilgrims would have spent months making that journey and perhaps with some great expectation of a great spiritual experience they were going to have when they finally got to their destination whether that be Santiago de Campostelis in, in Spain or Jerusalem or Rome and many of them perhaps might have been might have been very disappointed when they got there to discover that it wasn't what they thought but certainly I'm sure that if they were on the road for many months looking back at that experience years later, they would realize that it wasn't arriving at their destination that was the lasting legacy. It was the journey. It was the friendships they made on the road. It was the encounter they had with Christ in his people and just discovering the grace of God each day. I bet by the time they got to their destination, the relationships they had formed uh, among the group of pilgrims would have been the most precious and longest lasting legacy from their journey, not a visit at some building uh, at their destination. In fact, it's said that in a church in Rome, there is a plaque on the wall left there by one of the pilgrims, which says something to the effect of, if you came here looking for Christ, if you didn't bring him with you, you won't find him here. <laughs> and so my little encouragement to you today is, pay attention to the journey not the destination uh, god gives us grace for the day we're in don't miss these days uh, don't live your life thinking i'll just get through these days and then there's a better day coming um, no you're in the best day of your life today because christ is with you you know jesus taught his disciples not to pray give us today our monthly bread but give us today our daily bread so we have sufficient grace for the day we're in Live fully in the day you're in. Be aware in the midst of all the, the struggles and the pressures. Be aware of the grace to live in the day you're in. Be aware of the people who you're with, the relationships you have with those people. For when you look back at the end of your life, 
um, it will have been the journey that's the most important thing. And so be aware of Christ all around you and especially in the lives of those that you're with. God bless you. Have a great day today. I pray that this will be a special day, a day that you will remember because you become more aware today of the grace of God in your life, especially through the relationships of the people he's put with you in your team. God bless you.